Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all NASCAR games for the 360 and PS3. NASCAR 08 is an interesting racing game. I didn't like it. The career mode consists of lots of tryout challenges, and real NASCAR racing events are rare. Most of the time you'll be doing minimum speed laps, speed traps, collision avoidance tests, drafting trainings, and for a non-NASCAR fan like me, they were boring. The physics are very floaty and feel off. A comment in a YouTube review even said that the cars handle like a yacht in a store. But after you get used to the controls and complete countless of rather boring challenges, you can start to feel the game's quality. And on the plus side, compared to the PS2 version, the game has a big leap in graphics. My recommendation is that if you're not an NASCAR fan, you shouldn't buy the game, as you won't get excited about anything in the game. You don't get the races, you don't understand why the tracks are always in a hoop and will find the game repetitive and dull, so beware that this series is for NASCAR fans only, especially 08. Don't expect a Need for Speed game out of the NASCAR game. Oh, and people on forums claim that the game is totally different if you play it with a wheel and not with a controller. They say that it's way better with a wheel. Anyway, compared to the PlayStation 2 titles and the GameCube titles, what you get on the 360 and PS3 is total whack, but I'll get to that later. NASCAR 09 is improved. It's made to be more engaging for non-NASCAR fans too. For starters, the career mode consists of races, unlike in the previous game where you had to fish for races. In 08 you had to grind challenges to get to a race, here you can jump right into a cup. Also the customization options skyrocketed. Now you can customize your cars like never before, you can even upload your own logos. And the biggest flaw in the previous game has been fixed, the handling. In NASCAR 09 the handling is more intuitive so that it returns to being fun, rather than forcing you to get used to the controls and physics. The game still is far from perfect, the AI can be really stupid at times, but if you're an eager NASCAR fan, the game will be... okay for you at best. It's far from perfect, but still, it's the best out of all of the NASCAR games for the 360 and PS3 in what the content is involved because you have multiple cups, you have the truck series and you have actually three series and in the other games you don't have that. So content wise, this is the most complete game you get on the 360 and PS3. It's not, it's not as fun as the PS2 games, but still, it's the best bet you can get on this console. NASCAR The Game 2011 has another big graphical boost, and the game is beautiful. Also this time the game isn't made by EA anymore, it's made by Eotechnics. And while the game sure looks promising, it isn't really when you play. Steering is great, at least compared to the other titles, but the gameplay was made not so great by one flaw, the AI. Reviewers don't like the gameplay because it's too easy. The AI hardly puts up a challenge, which makes the game in which you revolve around the hoop pretty boring, and when the difficulty cranks up, the game becomes ridiculous. Oh, and there are frequent glitches in the game, and not the fun type. You get glitches like damaging your car without even crashing it, or teleporting competition in front of you. But other than that, the game is okay, it even has a rewind feature for when you screw up or when an AI screws up. You get 5 rewinds per race, oh and the career mode takes you around 3 hours to finish, it's really short. Overall, it still remains a game that would only appeal to fans, and maybe not even fans will like it. NASCAR Unleashed is Extreme NASCAR Arcade Racing, and it's pretty good. Sure, hardcore gamers will find the game too easy, but for casual gamers, this game is good. You can put even heads on your cars, 
you are encouraged to crash into vehicles, draft and unleash your boost that can destroy your opponents. Even if it's far from being among the best racing games out there, you can squeeze some fun out of this game. NASCAR The Game Inside Line 2013 is almost identical to NASCAR 2011, but it has a new game mode, the Scenario Mode, where you recreate events from NASCAR history. And they are dull. Also some tracks have been redone, and they are worse than before, but one big improvement still exists. If in the previous titles you could choose only one car and one season, now you can choose multiple cars and switch seasons. NASCAR 14 is very very similar to 2013. As differences you could call the handling, which feels a little better, and overall this game is the most stable and the least glitchy game aside of NASCAR Unleashed, out of the NASCAR games on the 360 and PS3. And that's about it. NASCAR 15 feels like a total cash-in. If you put NASCAR 14 and 15 side by side, you have the impression that the game is identical. Well, it's almost identical to NASCAR 14. There are some differences here and there, like the slightly updated roster that has inaccuracies according to my internet searches, and NASCAR 15 differentiates itself from 14 by a big flaw. It's glitchy, you can encounter black screens, value glitches, and all sorts of different problems. You're better off sticking to NASCAR 14, as it's the most stable, but out of all of them, I honestly recommend you NASCAR 09. I'm not a NASCAR fan, so I'm not really that solid of a source, but in my opinion, NASCAR 09 is the best. And even this one pales in comparison to the previous games. I mean, they butchered the franchise on the 360 and PS3. NASCAR games used to be fun on the PS2 and GameCube. I remember playing Dirt to Daytona and 2005 Chase for the Cup and loving the games. And I'm not even a NASCAR fan. And those games were made by EA too. I don't know how they managed to screw up the games on this generation when they already had the winning formula. My recommendation is to not get fooled by the better graphics and stick to the other NASCAR games which are way better than the mess you get here. Days of Thunder, NASCAR Edition, is a movie tying game. I haven't played the game because I couldn't get my hands on it, that's why I left the game last, but even if I haven't played the game, I've read reviews, and based on what I've read, I'm gonna tell you what those reviewers said about this game. Ok, so the wiki article states that the game was made in honor of the 20th anniversary of Days of Thunder, a movie that came out in 1990. The game has four different game modes, Quick Race, Time Trial, Career and Derby, where you are encouraged to do as much damage as possible. There are three basic vehicle types, accelerators, that are lighter cars with increased speed but are more susceptible to damage, intimidators, that are heavier and more capable of handling damage, but have a lower top speed, and regulators that have medium weight, medium top speed, and have average damage resistance. Also, there is a difference between the PS3 version and the 360. On PS3, you get 12 licensed drivers, whereas on the 360, all of the drivers are fictional. Also, almost all reviewers say that the game is bad. They say that it's dull, that it doesn't have much content, and that it's shallow, even if you get a cool slow motion feature. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.